this is HS Ninja and yes I am back I have power back in the house we recorded games oh my gosh for the last couple of days and yes bro most of you guys we don't know yes I live on the East Coast and I didn't have power since Monday it's been hell you guys don't even want to imagine it felt like the apocalypse over here like on Monday night and Tuesday people going crazy fights in Walmart people getting jumped man listen guys first thing I had to pop in was Resident Evil because this is exactly how Resident everything felt Evil. felt like a zombie apocalypse out there but for the people who don't have power hopefully everything works out they did say they were going to get at least 90% of 90% of New Jersey back up and hopefully everywhere else too so people who don't have power be safe but in the meantime let's let's, let's get a little action into Resident Evil Raccoon City yes I know most of you guys hate this game but you know what I'll be the first to say it matter of fact I won't be the first to say it for most of those people who have the whole this game versus Resident Evil 6 honestly this game's multiplayer co-op yes the story sucks yes I know that but co-op playing with your friends and the multiplayer is is a lot better than Resident Evil 6 and you don't have to download it for 400 Microsoft points when it comes out well this was already initially in the game we're not gonna talk about that let's let's let's, let's hop into Raccoon City Let's 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 get this going. Let's just, just go to basic team at team attack. I haven't played this game in ages. I'm probably gonna suck to look salty, I don't care. I have power. That's all that matters. I have power in my house. Uh and of course they put me on that they put me on that squad. Already in the game that already started. Hopefully I'm not on the losing team, but whatever. We're gonna get a couple of quick matches in. Let's talk about Resident Evil 6, which I still do not have. Of course, this trick is always locked forever because that stupid armor. I'm surprised Bertha is not being used. Should I go Bertha? Should I go? Yeah. Well, somebody's actually using a sniper, I'm sorry. And we got Super Soldier over there. I'm pretty sure my teammate just got fucked. People love this map because of the grenade launcher is so easy to well get. Well done. They know always the in the same damn spot. Which is why I wanted them to change. Light grenade! Oh, where that flash from? Oh, we got it! Light grenade! They're like, yeah, they, yeah, I knew they were going to sit in the freaking corner with the grenade launcher. Bastard. Samurai Edge. Watch out! Oh, oh, don't walk up to me. Oh, headshot. Don't do that ever. Don't ever do that. Unlike most of these dudes, I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> okay. 
getting shot at. supposed to update the guns and balance them out, but they never did. They have the patch. They actually have the patch ready, but I'm surprised they still haven't released it yet. That's it's very disappointing. Whoops! I didn't think they were good. Come on, you saw any headshot that came out of me? Freaking noobs do that. Always run for grenade launcher. It's always this map. But it doesn't matter. We won. Alright. Oh, I came in and did better than the recon. Wow, really? We got the we got the connect guy over there playing the game through his connect. I hate when people do that. Like no one's no one wants to hear all that noise. Your, you know, people in the background, your speakers. Like why do people do that? Just put on your mic. I didn't mean to mute that. Shit, but that. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid going back to apocalypse. I hate that stupid map. People only pick it for it's the simple fact that the grenade launcher is just right there. Like, no real skill involved. And I swear, if it's Apocalypse, I'm backing up. I don't care what you guys say. I mean, I could do the whole fight for the grenade launcher thing, but... I really, I just want to play the game normally. Yes, I realize there's a grenade launcher in every map, but... Some people don't know where the, most of those grenade launchers are. And a lot of the grenade launchers, you have to like run upstairs, and by that point, you probably might get shot. Someone might see you going for it. But yup, yeah, I knew it. No, enough of this map. Jeez, Louise, man. And yes, I did just say that. It's like all I, everyone ever go for. All right, let's try a different mode. Nemesis of Biohazard. I bet you there's no one playing this mode. Well, let's not say it. Let's not rule it out yet. Actually, the, I think the only mode I ever played in this game was 
Action Attack Survivor, which I thought was going to be awesome, but it didn't. It's alright, Survivor. Just, just that, just Survivor. If you die, you, don't, you shouldn't respawn. Once you're dead, you're dead. That's what it should have been like. Not like you know, you keep respawning. And I thought it was going to be like you know, you versus it's like eight of you guys versus the zombies and the bosses, and until like maybe five minutes left into the game, teamwork stops. I mean, it can continue, but you have to make a choice. Only four people can go into that helicopter. Do you shoot the guy next to you that was helping you survive the whole game? Or do both of you guys collaborate to take out the other? But it's nothing like that. It's just team deathmatch and whichever team gets into a hel the stupid helicopter wins. Or whoever gets into the helicopter survives. It's, it's I don't know. I, I think whoever designed that game mode didn't really think it through. And it looks like biohazard mode is a no because I don't want to sit here and bore you guys this mode I'm pretty sure not a lot of people have since it is a DLC so I guess I'm just going to stick to team attack and hopefully I don't end up in that apocalypse again I and I'm on the bad guy team again. Let's see what map it is. Oh, never mind, it ended. And it looks like it wasn't on Apocalypse. I'm shocked. Yep, got here as soon as it ended. Well, it doesn't even look like there was much killing going on. Well, I mean, they... Some of them didn't even bother to kill. It looks like the, the way the kill count is, is like... Okay, this player was next to zombies, so I'm just gonna spray everything, throw a grenade, and get the kills. But, like, one of my friends was always obsessed with killing zombies. He ends up... He ends up getting, like, 50-something kills every game. Sounds like there's a kid in here. I'm gonna keep my mic muted so he doesn't hear me. Guys, guess what? I got power! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, there's so many things that they can change in this game that could would definitely make it a lot better, but... It's already too late in this game cycle, and I'm pretty sure um, Slant 6 don't, doesn't really give a fuck about this game. Which which kind of sucks because it it just it can be enjoyable at times. I thought it it was apocalypse. I was about to fucking rage quit. I'm not even I'm not even gonna joke. I was literally my my thumb was on B and I was gonna back out. Wow, Lupo got locked. Oh my gosh, I think I hear a friend's kid. I'm gonna go SMG. Tactical SMG with Samurai Edge is pretty much the best pistol in the game. Nothing beats it. Uh, this map actually has a, a BOW running around. He can be very annoying. But if you kill him, I think you can score 500 points, I think. Or was it 200? Because I think 500, I think I'm exaggerating a little bit. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll try to kill him. The reason I picked the tactical SMG because it the submachine guns does cause a lot of bleeding damage and since this map has a lot of zombies, 
that bleed damage will work out to my favor. Plus, who doesn't like submachine guns? Seriously. All right, I'm probably gonna make this just the last match for the video. I'll probably continue off in another video. Uh, I'll probably continue off in another video later, but if I do play horrible in this, mind you, I haven't played this in such a while. There are government okay. forces in the It'll area. It'll be nice to have you know a backup, you like you know another guy that plays this game. Like, yeah, man, I got your back. Then we go through this together, you know, blah blah blah. Don't worry. And he, after he says all that, you know, has his little speech going, I end up dying. Like, where were you? Like, oh man, like, you know. Like, yeah, you know, you get like all these guys. I'm gonna follow Luke over here. Usually, uh, when me and my buddy play, yep. Oh, we killed each other. And yeah, he was using a submachine gun too. Bleed damage and everything like me. But it's alright. He died, I died. I probably should have threw a grenade. I knew there was someone gonna hit that corner, but. Oh man. Someone about to hit this corner over here. Fuck that. I'm not gonna go down like that. Look at this. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Almost dead. Game ground on them. You're falling behind. I'm actually pretty shocked because I killed like at least three or four players already. Yeah, the quick turning in this game kind of sucks sometimes. Sometimes I'm just going. Got a hunter behind me. Life grenade. I got lucky on that one. That they almost killed me. I'm still alive. Ooh. Oh, no, you don't. I'll be taking that. That sucks. <laughs> I thought that grenade went off already, man. 
Oh wow. Now you're dead. <laughs> yeah, kill the attack of rules. Fuck blowing health again. I've been real unlucky with first aid. Well, lucky on the herbs. I hear tyrant. Well, still tyrant, I should say. Yeah, my team sucks. But what can you do, right? So much work, so much work, and my team is just getting molested. I really have no choice. I don't have to start killing the people. Such an overpowered guy. And somebody's trailing him too. Gonna need to get some more ammo. Yeah, we're not gonna win. This is why some people should only play for Duty. Okay, did I kill the one? Oh no, somebody else got him. Unless I unless we take out that tyrant, we're not gonna win. I'm pretty sure that's what the other team must have taken out because they're they're pointing these guns. Okay. 
I'm really feeling that easy. I don't die to zombies. I don't die to play either. I'll take that. I was on a roll though. You gotta admit, I was on a roll. My team sucks. They no help. Whoever used Lupo. Such an overpowered character, not even like putting it anywhere. Look at that, 16 kills. Compared to their Lupo, who was a level 8, who compared to their assault guy who was a level 8, he has like 28 kills. And it's like the second highest person on the leaderboard for that match. Well, alright guys, it was fun going back to Operation Raccoon City, but I'm going to say au revoir. And I will catch you guys on the next episode of Casual Adventures. Hopefully, they fix that Happy Wars. That whole Happy Wars thing, so I can get like a really good video going. I couldn't get anything earlier. Catch you guys next time.